Welcome to our 27th video with data structures and algorithms. Uh, we're going to continue with graphs. Um, probably should have done this one before uh, the last two videos, but that's okay. Let's do it now. We're going to do adjacency lists and adjacency matrices. So we, we let's start off with an adjacency list. We're going to kind of go in a different direction here. Now this is what uh, this is a representation of our graph. So let's do some practice with. Um, converting this into an adjacency matrix. Uh, so firstly, with the adjacency matrix, right, we're going to write a 1 if uh, there's an edge between the two, right? And we're going to write zeros otherwise, right? So uh, we're going to start from uh, left, right? This will be uh, the nodes that are in the actual array here. And these will be its adjacency list, this, this top, uh, the columns, OK? You'll see what I mean in a second. So uh, for A, uh, in its adjacency list, we have C, D, and G. So along this row, we are going to write ones at C, oh, let's see, at C, D, and G. Now, everything else is going to be zeros. We're going to write in zeros later uh, so that we can kind of visualize this a, a little better. Let's keep going. So with B, it has uh, adjacency list with E, right? So E is in its adjacency list. It's connected to, there's, a, uh, there's an edge from B to E. Uh, C has uh, an edge, right? It has a self loop. Uh, D also has a self loop. It also has an edge from D to E, and there's also an edge from D to F. With E, E has an edge uh, to G, right? It has a direct a path to G. F has a path to B, right? An edge between F and B, and another ed there's another edge between G or from G to B. Okay, so that's kind of what our matrix looks like. Now this is a directed graph, and we know that because this is not symmetrical. Okay, that means there's not an edge. We, you can see this. There's an edge from A to C, but there is not an edge from C to A. Okay, so this is this is a directed graph. So now uh, let me just pick a different color, and we're gonna put in zeros. Okay, for the rest of this, just to be a little bit more complete. Okay, it's a lot of zeros. I know. Just hang with me for a second. Zero, zero. All these zeros, fun times. Here we go, here we go. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, and there we go. So that's what our uh, adjacency matrix looks like for this graph. Now, let's do a little something else. Let's translate this into um, the gra like a visual representation that we are used to. So I'm kind of running out of space here, so we're going to have to kind of go back and forth. But that's okay. So let's start with node A. So we have node A here. Uh, let's just put it like this. Okay, and we know that there's an edge from A to C. So I'm going to put C up here. Okay, there's that. There's also an edge from A to D. So let's draw a D node. And we'll do an edge there. And then another one to G. So we're going to put G down here. OK, there we go. That's our first one. You can do the same looking at this, right? So looking at this, we're going to um, show another one. But we'll do it from this side. So let's do B from this side. So B has an edge. There's an edge from B to E right here. So let's do that. So let's do uh, B down here. And there's another edge, right? There's a edge from B to E. So we're going to put E right here. OK. Let me make that a little better. Well, that's not better at all. That's OK. So uh, next one is C, right? C has a self loop. You can see that right here, if you like to look at this one instead, right? There's a 1 at CC. So there is a self loop on C. 
Uh, for D, D has an edge uh, from D to D, so this also has a self loop. There's an edge from D to E. Okay, so let's do that here. I have horrible arrows. Sorry, let's just clean that one up a bit. Eh, it's a little better. And there's also an edge from D to F. So F is not on here, so let's uh, draw our F node. Okay, so there's that. E has an edge uh, to G. So let's scroll down so we can uh, make a little loop here. So we have an edge from E to G. And from F, we have an edge uh, to B. Uh, you know what? I am going to redraw this to come over here. And F has an edge to B. There we go. We don't have to cross lines. And then G also has uh, an edge to B. Oh, there we go. That works out. Good stuff. OK, so there is our graph, right? Now, uh, let's do uh, some more exercise while we're here. And let's do, uh, hold on just a second here. Let's grab my color. I don't have the right color. I lost it. So let's do this. OK, let's do depth first search on this. Depth first search, just for some practice. And let's start from here. Actually, we can signify starting with just this one. Oops, wow, that was not right. So we start here, right, at one. Now, we're going to take this, we're going to do this in this order, the, the order of our list. So C is going to be the first place that we go, right? So let's go along C. We've discovered this at time two. And now let's do C, right? C has a self loop, so it's already been discovered, so we're done with this one. Three. Now, uh, back to A, right? So the next one in A is D, right? You can see that here. So let's go that path, okay? And time four, this was discovered. So let's look at D. The first one in D is a self loop, so that's already been discovered. It's already gray. E is the next one, so let's take that path. So time five. So E down here has a path from E to G, right? So let's take this path. And this has been discovered at time six. G has a, a path uh, to B, right? It has an edge from G to B. So now B has been discovered at time seven. Let's go up to B. Let's take the path to E, uh, except E has already been discovered, so uh, we're done with this one. So this has been discovered at time eight. Uh, back to G. This is done at time nine. There's nothing left in its list. Back to E. Uh, there's nothing left in its list, right? So that's done at time 10. Uh, back to D. Uh, the next one in D's list is F. So let's take a path over to F. And this has uh, been discovered at time 11. Uh, so F has B, right, in its uh, adjacency list. B's already been discovered, so we're done with this one at time 12. And that means that we are done with D at time 13. And then we are done with A because G has already been uh, discovered. So we are done with this at time 14. All right, that was kind of fun. Let's do breadth first search on this uh, on this same one. Let's just redraw this. All right, let's just get some practice in. Might as well. So we've got C over here. We've got G. We put F over here. Whoops, it's kind of messed up. Put F over here. B is down here, and E is over here. So we've got this. Kind of crazy lines here. Okay, there's a path here. There's a path here, here, and here. I think that's all of them. Yep. Okay, <clears throat> and let's do breadth first search over here. 
breadth first search. Now we have a queue, remember? So here's our queue. First, it's empty. Uh, we're going to start at A. All right, start here. Uh, its distance is zero. So we put A right in the queue. We take A out of the queue and we put its adjacency list on. All right, all a distance of one. So we have C, D, and G. We take C off, right? C points to itself. So we have we don't put anything else on the queue. Next, we take D off and we put E and F on, right? Who comes first? E comes first in the adjacency list. So that's who we're going to put on first. So we've got G, E, and F. Right? These are a distance of two. So next, we take G off. And we put B on here. Right, so now our Q looks like this, E, F, B. Okay, next in the Q is E. So we take E off. G has already been discovered, so we don't put anything else on. So I'm going to write this over here. So F and B are now on the Q. Uh, we take F off the Q. B has already been discovered. It's already in the Q, so we don't put anything in there. Right, B. We would put we take B off the Q now. Uh, that would be E. Right, uh, except E has already been uh, discovered, so we don't put anything on the Q. And there's no nodes left. That's we've gone through all the nodes, and that's it. So there's our depth first search, our breadth first search, and our adjacency matrix and our adjacency uh, list. So there you have it.